Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, go to your uh, any folder that you want inside of your home folder. You're going to go to any folder you can create in your home folder. In fact, you can create this script anywhere that you want. You're going to go to applications. You're going to go to you're going to create a new shell script. Now, how do you create a shell script? Uh, basically, a shell script is created by just creating a new like. Uh, text file and it's going to be new shell script and the last part is going to be sh.sh now this makes it a shell script you can open it with kate and you can write whatever you want now i'm going to tell you what you need to write in order for the steam ui uh, the steam ui to scale with your desktop so i'm going to delete this right now what you're going to do is after you create a shell script which i have named my shell script steam underscore launcher dot sh you can name it whatever you want after that you have to give it executable permission and i do this through kde now i do not know what method your desktop environment uses but mine is pretty simple i just right click on it i go to properties and i uh, have the permissions over here is executable i just check it and i click ok and that's this this script becomes executable now you're going to open this with your editor minus kate you're going to write exactly this and if you cannot see it i'm going to show it to you this is how it looks like so uh, i believe it's hashtag or sharp uh, an exclamation mark to tell that this is going to be a shell script and then you're going to write exactly this that you uh, that you've seen me write over here exactly this steam uh I believe it's a dash force desktop scaling is equal to 1.5. Now there's another thing that you need to actually worry about once you have this once you have this uh, have this shell script inside of Steam. You must make sure that this is actually uh, this basically uh, works by allowing Steam to scale the UI. So I'm going to run this in the console, which is my which is my terminal, and you'll see that the that my uh, display is 144p and the scale is okay right now so this is if i launch steam using this sh uh, this shell script now i've got this inside of my uh, start menu in linux we have an application launcher i have that in in over there so i can launch at any time but the scale is pretty large you have to make sure that in the settings in the interface you have this checked scale text and icons to match monitor settings requires restart you have to make sure that this is this is turned on if it, this is turned off this this will not work so i'll compare this with my with the actual steam that i have so if i go over here and if i do not launch it through through the through the shell script i just use steam this is how small it actually looks like if i launch it right now uh you'll see it in a moment you can see that's pretty small uh, compared to the last time I launched it. So first of all, oh yeah, before you execute the shell script, make sure that Steam is actually, you've exited Steam, so it's no, not really running, otherwise it's not going to run. So for me, I uh, use my, uh, use my, uh, I basically use my uh, application launcher to launch this. I don't use, I don't come here into my folder and launch it, I use it. I use my application launcher and there you go. So now Steam will, basically you can read things and you will avoid getting headache getting a headache i suppose thank you very much for watching this video if you if you want to support me you can either buy my game development course which is on udemy right now i'll leave a link in the description or you can order a game from me i also make video games on fiverr.com so if you want to support me either buy my udemy course which is a course for freelance game developers i'll basically teach you how to become a freelance game developer so if you want to support me either buy my course or uh get a game developed from me thank you